And we're live. I have some friends that seem to like laugh at people who are COVID scared, you know? And like, like they were telling a story and they're like, yeah, this guy, uh, his job required him to go in a hospital. And to him, it was like 28 days later in there. You know, he wanted to get in. He wanted to get out. He was concerned. He felt like he was at COVID risk. And I'm thinking, yeah, he's not crazy, right? Like it's a hospital. It was filled with COVID patients. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like, I have to go to a hospital about once every one to two months because I pick up Kitty's prescriptions for her. She's got a bunch, and I've, I've explained it before, but like, you have to go to this one hospital, and, and they have a pharmacy downstairs that, that does it, that covers through all of her health insurance nonsense, and I dread it every fucking time. I go in there with my mask on, and I'm just like a fucking surgeon walking in there, like, get away from me. Say, keep your fucking distance. Like, I, just, I just want the drugs. Well and known. I want Hospitals are full of disease. That's where the sick people go. That's where the sick people go. This is yeah. checking out. This makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're like, you're like grossed out by a guy with like a, you got in a motorcycle accident. You're like, oh, <laughs> look at just, hi, <laughs> keep your contains in a way. Look what it done. Look what the COVID did to that guy. Half his face <laughs> is gone. Oh my God. <laughs> the COVID rug or what? Street burn, whatever it's called. Road the rash. Crayola, uh, yeah, road Meet rash. crayon. And she's like, your hearing is going, which is possible. My father's hearing went around my age. As a matter of fact, when I first started dating, no, when I first married Jackie, so maybe we're a little older, um, he was a little older than I am now. And uh, she called him dad. You know, you get married, you call your, mm -hmm. you go first names or mom and dad. But we just called him Tad for like years and years. We would call him Tad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tad. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> I talked to him last night for a while and he kept, he kept pronouncing COVID co covert or covert or something like that. And I corrected him and he just, I didn't seem to hear me correct him twice. I'm like, all right, it's it's gonna be covert. It's the covert. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe that's some sort covert, of a. Maybe, maybe he, he means covert. Maybe he's maybe that's like it's a code maybe, that I, I slipped on. He's. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's like, like. Maybe he doesn't believe in COVID, and he thinks it's some sort of government program, some sort of covert government program. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you said that they they've like quarantined and stuff because I mean they're older. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was talking that's to him. Good. I think. I want to dox him, but he had just turned 23 not too long ago. I won't give away his actual birthday. And uh, did I say 23? 73. Yeah. <laughs> <accurate. laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> he yeah. looks terrible. Yeah. 23. I went to oh. visit him in the DeLorean. Very heavy drinker. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you uh, drink yourself into wrinkles. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, he turned 73. And uh, so they're being careful about it. They're, they're actually so careful. They're sort of waiting for someone else to go first on the vaccine. They're eligible. They could get in line towards the front. But um, he's like, yeah, some guys are having reactions here and there. And um, my mother, apparently when she gets flu vaccines, she's one of those people that kind of gets heavy flu symptoms. So there's a vaccine coming out not too long from now where you get one dose instead of two. And they're maybe waiting for that. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, they're sort of COVID aware and they're uh, trying to make smart decisions. They're just letting yeah. other people storm the beach just yeah. in case. Yeah. Well, that's and, what you're going to do, right, Taylor? You, you've you've kind of said that you're a little worried about this uh, this vaccine. I, I mean, mean we... I don't really, I don't ever get a flu shot either. So, like, like if I need to get it, I will. No, I never get a flu shot. Why would I? I no, 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 no. I'm not reacting. You're just like, if I need to get it, I will. But like, like if you need, you don't to, think like, you need to get it. Well, I was saying like if you need to like leave the country or something. But otherwise, I'm almost positive I already had it after I got back from Colorado and felt shitty for a few days. So I'm, I'm just really not, I mean, I'm abiding by all the rules and everything, but personally, because I'm young and not, you know, super unhealthy, I'm not too worried. So you're not going to get the COVID vaccine? Probably not. I mean, I, I guess it. at some point, maybe. I want it. If well, it's you're like with me on that, Kyle. Of course I'm with you on that. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like there are things, that, you know what, people aren't going to understand my pet. Last year, I didn't go to any paramotor events, right? None. And it was because... A 200 person to a 300 person fly in where you'd like socialize. It's a bad idea in a pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't go to any. And now I'm kind of jonesing for one. I would really like to go and I don't know. I, I enjoy them. I mean, it's a thing that I do. And it, is that going to be allowed though? Because I was like, like, even after you get vaccinated, they're saying like you can still spread it potentially. So would you be able to just go out and rejoin the world? Well, I didn't know that's, that. That's the thing yeah. is like, if that's what it is and it's like you get this, 
And then it's like, all right, fucking go to the bar, fucking go to the restaurant, go to the shooting range, go do whatever. Then, yeah, I'm down. I'm totally down. But It was my impression that now I'm like 98% immune, which is enough immunity by my standards, right? Because I'm probably not going to die, right? I'm not 73 years old, diabetic, fat, asthmatic, right? Like I'm, I'm probably going to be okay if I get it. Really, I just want to be responsible for the other people around me. You know, we watch this baby. I've got my wife and my kids, and I don't want to be the guy that brought it to them. I don't want to come home from a fly-in and then everyone gets sick, and we all know damn well what happened. I, that's the scenario I'm trying to avoid. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's like I think Kyle and I have the same mindset in that, like we want these vaccines so that we can resume normal life and not be a hazard hope, to the world. I hope that over the next year, everyone who wants the vaccine gets the vaccine for free, and then the virus mutates and becomes ninety percent deadly. <laughs> and everyone who is anti-vax literally dies. <laughs> it would be anybody... one of the one of the biggest advancements in human intelligence. I don't know since we invented fire. Like like like, and and and, and there was this one group of cavemen who couldn't fucking work it out and thought it was black <laughs> magic. And look, I my grandfather ate raw bison, and I'll <laughs> eat raw bison. You get that mumbo yeah, jumbo away from me. It burned, funny. Tom. Because Have you seen right. Tom's hand? It's all burnt up. <laughs> you just, yeah, you know there was, the, there was the Thomas Edison in that time who was like just burning people indiscriminately. Like, you really want to harness the power of the flame? <laughs> <laughs> just because Tesla figured out you know, the Tesla caveman. But yeah, you're right. That, yeah. might actually, that might actually help. Every so often I hear the Democratic Party's wiped out and will never come back. That would wipe out the Republican Party and they would never come back. Good. That's where the anti-vaxxers are. I, I, don't, I don't care anyway. who gets sure. wiped out. Stupid people. That's I don't yes. care what political affiliation that they correspond to. Stupid Isn't people. Isn't LA a hotbed for that shit? For anti-vax? Anti people who don't want to vax like measles. Oh, it might yeah, be, the, but it's the, become there's... practically a plank in the Republican platform over the last year. That might be temporary, right? About but, what? Basically, COVID is a scam. The vaccination is a method of mind control, chip implantments, and all that bullshit is. I don't think anybody reasonable or in the mainstream thinks yeah, that they're. That's like alt right implants. and alt left. That that's like far right and far left. That has this. It on the left. I might get it's overexposed like, to that part of the right. Yeah, you go yeah, on probably, Facebook. I think you are because yeah. I've never heard anyone talk about that. The only thing I've heard is people being like, especially like girls my age who are about to have kids and haven't had kids yet. They're like, yeah, I'm a little worried about the, the fertility aspect. That's what I've, that's what I've heard. Oh, from you're t there could be another bonus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, but oh. COVID erectile dysfunction. It's one of the symptoms. I, I damned take, if you do damned. If you I do. take no, so I'm much Cialis, like my dick could have been broken for years now. And I would have no fucking idea. It's like one like, of those star Wars <laughs> scenes where they both like shoot their powers at each other. And then one over does the other. Mm. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I take 10 milligrams of Cialis daily. Like, 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 like I'm not going to know. That if, is if a lot. Right are, you, are you sure of that dosage? I'm a hundred percent sure of that dosage. <laughs> he's, he's so sure. He's, <laughs> I have, I have, like the pack is next to me. I just took ten milligrams before we got started here. I'm I'm hard as a rock right now. Ah, oh, pictures or it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wow, that is a lot. What's That's, not? It's like two pills on a daily basis, and it's a thirty-six hour thing, right? Well, it's it, it's one pill. Uh, it would be two blue chews, I think. No, blue chew comes less. in blue two chew. doses. You can blue get the uh, six milligrams, six and nine milligrams, I okay. believe. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I thought it was five. Uh, but but I'm sponsored by a different company that gives me 10 milligram uh, mouth melty things. And I have I still have a couple packs of those. So does it taste I've been good? taking those. Eh, not really. None of it tastes good. Yeah. yeah I mean, the blue chew tastes like a sweet tart. If you like sweet tarts. Like a baby yeah. aspirin was it always had in my head. Yeah, pretty. Really? Cool.